Hey, it's me, MLB. Here is Torn Down the Middle, Chapter 51, and this is The Ending, Take 2. Everyone crowded you after the play, wanting to congratulate you and recount their favourite parts of the play as you stood backstage. Suddenly, a strong hand grabbed you and pulled you from the centre of the crowd. Take a number and wait, you damn extras. It's my turn to talk to Juliet. Bakugo growled to the sea of people as he pulled you from their centre. You waited until he had dragged you to a more quiet part of backstage before flinging his arm off. What the hell, Katsuki? You shouted. What was all that about? Oi, I was supposed to be Romeo. Not icy hot, he shot back. Well then, Romeo, why did it take you so long to jump in and save me? You pouted. Bakugo's scowl deepened. Because I didn't think you wanted me there, he replied with a twinge of hurt in his voice as he looked away. Do you really think I think that little of you? You retorted. He frowned as he looked back to you. Just so you know, I don't need to do the whole fake dating thing anymore. You looked at him, a funny feeling in your stomach. W what do you mean? You asked, a little dejectedly. Crackhead auntie no longer controls our accounts. We won the court battle, he said frankly. Oh, you replied, looking down at the floor. Why do you have that stupid look on your face? He asked suddenly and lowly. Your heart jumped and you looked back up at him. What stupid look? You look sad, he said bluntly. I I'm not sad, you retorted, crossing your arms across your chest defiantly. Did you like us fake dating? He asked in an almost teasing tone. What? You stammered, your face going redder. He backed you up against the wall and placed a hand either side of your head. Stop playing him. I know you like me, he said lowly with a smirk. You took a deep breath. Pfft, okay, fine, what if I do? You replied with eyes narrowed, staring him down and trying to look menacing. He huffed with amusement, taking one hand down to reach into his pocket. Take that necklace off and ring off, he demanded. Why? You shot back. Because I got something better for you, he replied, producing a ring box. Your eyes shot open when you saw it and you just gawked at him. What's this? You stammered. I'll show you if you answer this question, he said lowly. Will you be my real girlfriend? You hesitated for a second, not sure if he was playing around. His serious eyes burned into you, and you knew he meant it. Yes, you replied. Correct answer, he said back with a smirk, stepping back and opening the box to reveal a beautiful little promise ring. Now don't lose this one, you dumbass pizza roll. He said as he took your right hand and slipped the ring onto your finger. I promise, you stupid rogue Romeo, he replied with a giant grin. He grabbed you into a hug and then picked you up, spinning you around before putting you back down. Your lips crashed together in an amazingly hot kiss filled with all the pent up emotions that you'd felt over the past six months. From now on, it was official. You two are dating. Let the world beware. And there it is, y'all. It was a bit short, but that was the Bakugo ending. Stay tuned for tomorrow, the ending part three, where you end up with both boys.